Hey, what's up, guys? This is Toriel Sultan. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you step by step how I display my keystrokes during a screen record or video calls or any of the tutorials that I do on this channel. I want to display to my audience or my viewers what I exactly type on my keyboard, specifically what key command or key shortcut that I do. I want my audience to learn that as well. A lot of these major software like OBS, QuickTime Player, they really don't have this option unless I go out there to buy a software that's $100 or $150 to be able to achieve the same results. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and drop some comments below. Let me know this thing really helps. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the app and the plugin we're going to install that's going to make this work is called the Keycaster. The link is in the description. This is a gighub.com link. A little bit about this app, Keycaster is an open source keystroke visualizer. This is basically the effect of how it displays the keystrokes if you record something like a tutorial like I do often. When you come to this GitHub page, scroll down a little bit, you're going to see download option. Click on downloads latest release and you're going to see keycaster app.zip file so give it a click and it will automatically download this app into your download folder so I just unzip this app all I need to do is double click on this unzipped file first thing you're going to see is this little pop-up window just click on open and second window you want to click on open system preference it'll automatically open privacy input monitor you want to click on this lock icon and enter your Mac password and click on unlock you're going to see on the right hand side we have these app options click on the key caster app give it a check and quit and reopen basically this will quit the app and reopen the app and that's pretty much it and you can automatically check for updates just in case their newer version comes out and you don't have to manually update it will automatically update itself and you can close this window in the general preference settings we have a three options you can see here the first option display keycaster icon in the menu bar so when I have this option on you can see my top right corner here the menu option I have the keycaster opened this is when I'm able to tell that keycaster is on or off you're probably not gonna end up using this every day right only in a specific scenario that you want to record certain things you want to turn this option on so come to the second option which is display setting this is something you're gonna play around with based on your screen size and based on your preference in terms of colors for example right now if I type anything on my keyboard you see the bottom left this seems really small so I want to enlarge my font size when I increase my font size look at what happens basically that will give it a bigger of a display like this so when I do screen record if I do like come on one two three this is how people are able to see what I'm actually clicking on right second option is keystroke delay basically this is the length of time before the line breaks breaks okay you can play around with this you can, you can see three different lines this is the line breaks linger time is the length of time before the text fades away so you can let it stay a little bit longer you see if I put it longer it stays pretty long you see what I mean it stays a very long time then disappear if you do it in somewhere really short basically you see as long as I type it let go it'll disappear so basically somewhere in the middle or a little bit longer will do because you want people to remember what you just pressed right and last but not least we have a fade duration this is duration of the fade effect you can do instantly so you see it almost like just right away disappears or you can do fade in ish if I do command one two three you can see that fading is really nicely fading out maybe to me my personal preference is around the center last but not least we have these two options I kind of like this dark gray or black color so I want to stick to it one more key setting that might be really helpful is this one option says display only key commands or display only command keys if I don't check this option if I do a lot of typing it will actually display my typing as well however if I click on this option if I type anything on my keyboard it no longer shows anything that I type however when I type certain key commands for example command shift one you see when you have this option on anything that I type 
in terms of letters it won't display so last but not least this is a check for updates option this is totally up to you maybe you don't want to slow down your system during startup so what you can do is uncheck it and every time you use keycaster you can come in here and click on check it will automatically check if there's updates for you okay that's pretty much it guys this is kind of like a fun app or plugin that's going to help you display any keystroke or anything you type on the keyboard i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you enjoy this give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel make sure you drop some comments too let me know if this really helps or let me know what's your favorite display settings and we can uh, share with each other okay i'll see you guys in the next one cheers